Hello guys, welcome to Functional Programming in C Sharp Part 1, a video course by Pack Publishing. My name is Eddie Leonard, and I'm going to be the voiceover artist for this course. Winsnu Angoro is a Microsoft certified professional in C Sharp programming and an experienced C and C++ developer. He has also authored Boost.asio, C++ Network Programming, 2nd Edition, published by Pact. He has been programming since he was in junior high school and started developing computer applications using the basic programming language in the MS-DOS environment. He has a solid experience of smart card programming as well as a desktop and web application programming, such as designing, developing, and supporting live use applications for SIM card operating system porting, personalization, PCSC communication, and other smart card applications that require the use of C Sharp, C, and C++. He is currently a senior smart card software engineer at CIPTA, an Indonesian company that specializes in the innovation and technology of smart cards. You can write to him at winsnu at engoro.net. Some of us may be used to developing an application using the object orientation programming technique and don't care about the functional programming technique. However, there are benefits to using functional programming. One of the benefits is that we get a new perspective on our programming code since the function in functional programming is identical to a mathematical function. Because it's identical to a mathematical function, the function in functional programming contains no side effects, which means that the function invocation will have no effect on other functions in the class. We will discuss more details about the benefits and other things related to functional programming in this course. Let us have an overview of what is there in store for us. Section 1. Tasting functional style in C-sharp includes the functional programming approach by discussing its concepts and the comparison between functional and imperative programming. Section 2, Walkthrough Delegates, covers the definition, syntax, and use of delegates. We also discuss variants of delegates and the built-in delegate. The third section, Expressing Anonymous Methods with Lambda Expressions, walks us through the concept of delegates and uses it to create and use an anonymous method. Section 4, Extending Object Functionality with Extension Methods, elaborates the benefits of using the extension method in functional programming. By the end of this course, you will have a better understanding of functional programming and get a new perspective on programming. These would be the prerequisites for this course. Take a good look and make sure you have them before getting started. With this course, I can assure you that you'll find functional programming has never been easier. Now let's dive into functional programming in C-sharp together. See you there.